Hello and welcome to Freelance Speaker Plan website. This is the video tutorial how to use number three and it is a dedicated video about the sketch, the core of our drawings. So to access the sketch, you just double click on it. A different window with different information will show to you and you will find many different quotes or many different dimensions with different colors. So let's talk about that. The first one are the dimensions indicated in blue. Those refers to information. So the quotes indicated in blue, they didn't change the drawings because they are just information. You can also add more blue quotes if you want to. So let's take one instance here. The total length of the horn is missing here. So you can select this button here to change the color of the coats. As long as it is blue, you can take this horizontal distance and add more information in your model. In this case, we are adding the total length of the horn. You can add more information about the cross section area. You can also add as many more information as you want to because they may help you to better optimize the design. But all the information indicated in blue will not change the drawing. There are some that have names like this S3, S5, L45. Those names are used because those quotations, besides they didn't change the drawing, they will be used to carry information from the sketch to the spreadsheet. So I will recommend you to not delete any information in blue, but if you want to, you can add as much more information in blue as you want to, if they help you to better optimize the design. The other quotation you will find are the ones indicated in orange. This quotation have expression indicated on them. So they are basically a red quote with an expression. So don't try to modify that let as it is. Do not try to change the equations because you may find some errors. And the last dimensions, the ones indicated in red, are the ones that you are able to modify and to adjust the model for your needs. So, for instance, this model, the C sub, is currently with dimensions for a 15 inch drive. And let's modify it, at least let's try to modify as an exercise for a 10 inch driver. So back to this website, let's check what is the size of the driver with 10 inch. So the hole to assemble this driver must be between 229 and 256. So the first thing I will do, I will just go outside the sketch. I will go here to the buff hole and I will put 22 centimeters. As you can see, the hole was changed in order to be aligned with a 10 inch driver. So let's back here to the sketch. Now we can reduce the distance between the center of the hole to the throat of the horn. Let's do that. Okay, maybe we need a little more. Okay. Now the buff size. Let's back here. The buffer size can be as shorter as 256 millimeters. So we have a lot of headroom there 
to reduce the bath size. Let's do it. So one question you are probably making now is why I'm changing in steps, why I just enter the value that I want and that's it. Because sometimes the software will present error. If you do a very large step, the model can break, some shapes can flip, you can find some errors. So to avoid that, I would recommend you to be gentle with the model and do big chains in steps. So let's do one more step. Okay, so now the buffer size is much shorter than it was before. But now the chamber are still very big for a 10 inch driver maybe it's too much. Let's reduce also the chamber size. In steps. So different models will accept larger steps or smaller steps. I can't give you an overall recommendation, but I will suggest something between 50 millimeters or lower to avoid problems. Okay, one more. That's it. Now we have a very smaller loudspeaker, right? Probably this vent is not tuned properly. Let's change something also in this vent. Let's make it shorter. Okay, too much, right? Okay, this vent has also a flare, but maybe you don't want to use a flare, you want to use a constant cross-sectional area. What can we do? There are two possibilities. The first one, we can set this angle to zero and see if this model accept or if it will present an error. Let's try to see. Oh, all the model became orange and we find a red messenger here. So it breaks the model. Let's press Ctrl Z or you can press this to undo. Okay. So how can we cheat to still achieve a constant cross-sectional area? We can use a very small angle, very close to zero. So one millesimal is in effect a zero. So let's input one millesimal. Now the model accept and now you have a constant cross-sectional area. Let's adjust the front horn. So the throat, maybe now it's too big. Let's reduce it a little. Okay. Okay, now we have a probably a good throat for a 10 inch driver. Other thing that we can do is to change the angle. So you can try bigger or higher angle. So while we are increasing the angle, you can see that this panel is increasing its angle. The mouth of the horn is also increasing. We can try to decrease also, if you prefer. And use a very small angle. Because maybe this is better for your driver, I don't know but you have the freedom to change it according to your needs. We can also try, let's try to achieve a constant cross-sectional area here as we made for the vent. So to avoid error, let's input a very small angle here too. And here we go. 
it's basically a constant cross-sectional area. So now we start with a box for a 15 inch driver and now we end with a box for a 10 inch driver with a different shape of the vent and a different shape of the front horn before it was flared now they are constant cross-sectional area they have different dimension and also the box will have different volumes now the box is just 159 liters so that's it i hope i could illustrate for you very well how do you modify the dimensions to better fit the drivers you want to design around and as said if you want to add more information you can you have the freedom to do it i would just recommend you to not delete any information otherwise you will find error let me give you an example we'll clear the report view and I will delete this blue color height and I know this is used in the spreadsheet so once you delete it you got a lot of red message so don't do that okay so let all the information as it is unless you are advanced user you know what you are doing if you just want to modify dimensions for your drawing you are not specialist in CAD let everything as it is just change the dimensions indicated in red and if you need add more information in blue okay that's it thank you a lot and see you in the next video